I'm so excited to marry you. You ready for this? Yeah? Ariella, I am sure many people in this room, maybe even us, are stunned that me and you are standing here today having just gotten married. Because as we've heard so many times throughout this weekend, we are so different in so many different ways. And it's true, Ariella, you're extremely punctual, I am chronically late, you are so well organized and well put together. For me, it's a miracle if I can find my phone, wallet, and keys in two minutes before I leave the house every single morning. You are obviously stunning and beautiful. What many people don't know is, I was planning this day in my head from the very first time I saw Ariella. You look so beautiful. <laughs> this is insane. I actually don't think I've ever seen a dress like this before. <laughs> She not only puts up with my crazy shtick, she embraces it. Ariella, you are the most loving, loyal, ambitious, kind, smart person that I have ever met. And I am so lucky that I found you and that I can now call you my wife. Corey and Ariella, you stand beneath the scupa the symbol of your home together. Sheltering above you are Tali Tot from your grandfathers, from Irv and Lou, and later we will wrap you in one from Jamie. You are surrounded by loved ones in this beautiful place, in this most beautiful setting. We are aware here of everybody that is here and also those that are not, that look down from heaven, that shep nachas at this moment, that cry tears of joy. They are present also. They join all of us. You had friends that wanted to set you up for the longest time, but it really was Bumble that had matched the two of you. And then Ariella, totally against her, her own rules and protocols, accepted a dinner date with you when she normally would not have done dinner as a first date. And what would have been maybe a quick thing turned into three and a half hours of a conversation that felt like it could have gone on forever. And you went home and you called your friend and you said, I just had the most incredible date of my life. I met the one. And you went home and said, I met a real person. <laughs> Which in Corey speak means exactly the same thing. <laughs> Even more. <laughs> and then on a beach in Mexico, you proposed. And all of the planning and all of the events and all of the things and that had to align to get to this moment so that your hearts and your souls and your stories would be at this moment arriving together. That's what we drink to. Corey, the next step is yours. Mazel tov! Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Siegel. You're not only kind, but you're, you genuinely connect with everyone you come across. Even if it's a random stranger, you know you'll never see again. You're not only charismatic, but you light up every single room you walk into. And I'm pretty sure all my friends already like you more than like me. And you're not only lovable, but you have the most incredible way of instantly putting a smile on my face when I'm in a bad mood. Even if you were the one who put me in that bad mood. 
I love every single one of our moments together and continue to be amazed by your ability to turn any mundane event into a magical one. Like when I'm in the middle of writing an important legal brief and you decide to blast music and demand that I stand up and dance with you in the middle of the day. You bring more joy to my life than I could have ever imagined and I don't know how I got so lucky to be able to call you my sister. I love you. Toronto Star, what's your biggest fear going into tonight? Great question. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like to camera play. Can we keep the camera? <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, my biggest fear. I'll tell you my biggest fear. It really is that we all do not have like the most epic time. That's my biggest fear. So never gonna happen. Okay, so <laughs> let's let's hope not.